Marcus Rashford, a Manchester United and England forward, blessed with an eye for goals. And in the past few months, he seems to have united the United Kingdom, not with his football skills, but with his campaign for children to receive free school meals. It's earned him praise from peers and rivals alike. I hope his mother is really proud of him. I don't know him, but even I am. The 18-year-old kid that I, I met a few years ago, to be now a, a man and a man with um, with principles and um, to to fight for um, for kids very similar to to him when he was a, a young kid is something very very nice from Marcus. Rashford was a recipient of free schools meals as a child. Having personally benefited from the program, he's forced the UK government to reverse its decision to stop providing lunch vouchers. After the COVID-19 pandemic and resultant lockdowns led to a school year like no other, Rashford has been honoured with an MBE, a member of the British Empire, for his efforts to tackle food poverty. But his campaign to extend the scheme through the current school holidays and over the December break has been thwarted by the Conservative government. It's refused to provide food vouchers for 1.5 million children during the holidays until Easter 2021. Using the power of social media, Rashford has mobilized civil society to promote businesses and councils offering free meals. His activism has translated into action. Even the mayors of Liverpool and Greater Manchester have signed up. According to the Child Poverty Action Group, over 4.2 million young people are living in poverty in the UK, which is 30% of all children. 46% are from black and minority ethnic groups. 26% are from white families. While Wales and Scotland have extended their program over the holidays, in England and Northern Ireland, free meals will only be offered during the term time. Conservatives have continued attacking Rashford on social media and in Parliament. Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rishi Sunak, says there's no allowance for free meals in the national budget, something Rashford has condemned. I know for sure that a lot of them speak in the way that they're speaking. It's so insensitive about the issue and they've definitely not, not been through it themselves. Um, so for me, it's, you know, I'll take that all day long as long as we start to see improvements going forward for the people that are in need of it. Despite that, his petition to end child food poverty has received about 900,000 signatures. Rashford's fight isn't over yet, and he's not alone. Labour Party says it will bring the matter back to Parliament in the coming days, meaning this match is going into extra time.